23 year old autistic twins Alex and Jamie Schneider are non communicative, but their brothers have developed a family wide passion for running, and that passion was disrupted at the Boston Marathon last year, which so traumatized Jamie that he stopped running. But after struggling through the New York Marathon, John Henry Smith shows how the brothers and their parents have set their sights on today's marathon in Boston. Parenthood is never a sprint, it's a marathon. And for the parents of two autistic boys, there are plenty of uncharted inclines, twists, and turns. Neither Alex or Jamie are able to speak. Um, any, you know, they can't have a conversation. They can't say really what they like and what they don't like. And in addition to that, both of them have very significant and sometimes very severe behaviors. A lot of these autistic kids and adults have enormous amounts of energy. Uh, there's no outlet for it. You have to find that outlet, whether it's piano playing or it's singing or if it's experiencing uh, some type of traveling with your son or daughter. Uh, but we found running. Um, running is really the focus of our lives right now. We really revolve everything around running. The path to running hit Alan and Robin Schneider as they ran on the beach with their boys. They actually started running a lot faster than we were. And so we just thought, gee. They'll do this forever. Let's try to find some kind of organized running uh, club. The Schneiders got the twins to a club coached by Kevin McDermott. He found his new runners gifted and passionate. I think they like to complete tasks. They like to start and finish something. They're both real good at puzzles and they don't like to, they don't like to quit until they finish. So they, there's something about a finish line that they both like. Nothing excited them more than this endeavor just translated into positive behavior all day long. It also translated into more than 150 races over eight years. The now 23-year-olds, especially Alex, have won enough awards and accolades to fill their house. Alex is an incredibly gifted athlete. He loves running so much, he would probably just keep running and running and running for hours and hours and hours without stopping. Jamie is much slower than Alex. Um, speed was never a thing for Jamie. He likes the social aspect where um, stopping at the water stops and, and you know grabbing the water and shaking people's hands along the way. In 2011, Alex and Jamie started competing in the biggest race of them all. We had a nice experience in Boston the first time. So going into Boston last year, we had high expectations and we were as everyone else, we were very excited to do Boston for the second time. And um, everything went fine until all hell broke loose. When the bombs went off, Alex, who had already finished, was with mom back in the family hotel room. But Jamie and dad were still on the course. There's people crying around us. Uh, and they're waving their hands and they're shouting. And he's drinking it all in. It's, that's part of his issue with his catatonia and his autism. He hates to see people in distress or upset. So this was a overdose for him. Everything was just, we were just all in shock. So for Alex, it was really difficult. He um, didn't understand, obviously. Um, has no idea what a bomb is, no idea, you know, what smoke is, didn't, you know, couldn't relate to any of it. While Alex showed no lasting effects, Jamie was traumatized. As always, mom and dad found ways to help. Walking, you know, positive walking uh, as a family, then maybe a little running in the woods with quiet. I mean, it took months for him to get back to being in a crowd in a race. We had to be quiet around him for uh, quite a maybe a month or two after uh, Boston. In slow doses, we gave him the race experience back and he slowly came back. The Schneiders took a big chance on another big race in November, the New York City Marathon. And the twins finished in typical fashion, Alex ahead of dad and Jamie, victory, and now Boston. And since it's, it's been a year and we, he's made tremendous progress, thank God, through you know this past year, and that's one of the reasons why we feel it's so important for him to be back at Boston to have a great race and to experience it the way that he should have experienced it last year. Jamie will get that chance. The Schneider family is set to return again this year for a third Boston Marathon.
John Henry Smith, Al Jazeera.